farmer friend singer songwriter Lyle Strickland. And that's farmer friend and jack of all trades Chris Horn. And we're those, those taste bud guys. Hello and welcome back. So, um, today we're doing a scotch. Yes. Which scotch? Uh, we are doing, uh, yeah, I want to say one of my favorites, but it's not quite my favorite, although it has components of my favorite. We're doing Lefroig, uh Select. Uh, we're doing this because we've been partaking of it, and it's getting down in the bottle. And if you know anything about whiskey, uh, it as it gets down in the bottle, was a, a little over half way through the bottle? Something like that. Like, you need to start like thinking about maybe finish, finishing it up. 40 or 50% in there, and it's air. You probably need to be getting rid of it. So. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to do it so we can taste it. Um, so on camera, yeah, we got quite a bit going out of this one. <laughs> so, uh, like normal, guys, if you will uh, like, subscribe, follow us on YouTube, uh, Instagram, Facebook, all those good things. Click down below, hit the thumbs up button, the alarm button. We'd greatly appreciate that. Helps a lot on the business side of things. Uh, if you want to support us monetarily, go to Patreon.com. Well, what is it? Patreon.com forward slash. Taste, Taste bud, bud guys. guys. Yeah, that's the one. Anyhow, there, you can <laughs> donate $4 a month or more if you like, but $4 would be awesome. It would help us out a lot. Yeah, a huge amount, yeah. So, so Lefroig is... Well, I guess we should start with scotch. This is our first scotch that we've ever done. True, okay. And what's the difference between scotch and a bourbon and Canadian whiskey? The Atlantic Ocean. Ah, there you go. Scotch is, has to be aged three years. In an oak barrel, does not have to be a new oak barrel. In, f in fact, most times is not a new oak barrel, correct? Usually a sherry cask, or in a lot of cases, uh, Americanized bourbon yeah. casks. So, so uh, Lefroig specifically... Uh, it also has to be made in Scotland. Well, that's that's true. It should be a given. Um, and it's whiskey without an E. And that's, yes, another, that's another episode. But uh, is our first uh, whiskey without an E. Lafrog's a pretty smoky whiskey, would you say? Yeah, so I guess that was my question before we started, was if that's what most people thought of when they thought of scotch, is if mm. they thought of the smoky, big, uh, woodsy I, flavors. And I you know, say no. Well, that's not how I thought it. I always thought scotch was um, uh, sort of uh, real high, bright notes, real heavy alcohol, like not real like smooth, but somehow not in a good way. Um, think Johnny Walker, think Dewar's. Um, okay. That that was my first introduction to my, into Scotch, and I did not like it. So this is different, very different. So the first time I tried Scotch, I tried I think Johnny Walker, and I think something else. Mm -hmm. And you introduced me to Lefroig. Yeah, Lef Lef this for me set me up to. Realize there's more to whiskey than just Jim Beam. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is when I realize there's a lot more flavors. Now, I like big, bold, unique flavors. Mm -hmm. I think this fits into that. There's only a few other scotches that really hit the notes <laughs> that this one does. What's their tagline? Like, you either love it or hate it or something like yeah, that? Yeah, there's no in-between yeah. on this. So, um, I think the most common thing said about this is like drinking a campfire. Yeah, yeah. That's so, an apt description. Um, oh. Similar to what we did with Brimstone. Mm -hmm. But smoother. different. Smoother. Yeah. Uh, still really smoky, but smoother. So uh, let's taste this real quick, and then we'll get into what makes Lafroig select different than <laughs> Yeah, our because flavor. this is a little different than the one we normally drink. It is. So, so I, well, I'll give you a little heavy pour on that, sorry. Well, that'll be all right, I guess. <laughs> um, so the smoke... And I guess I should say the smoke is uh, a peated smoke. It's not a smoke like a campfire as we think of around here if you're in the United States. Yeah. If you've never had peat, peat is uh, almost a... It's like peat moss that you put in your garden. Yeah, right? I can it to like shoe leather. It's yeah. got a very shoe leather uh, um, <clears throat> smell to it. Uh, I mean, not in a bad way. This is all the the great things you would think about smelling a, a leather or something a little bit older or mustier. Keep talking about shoe leather. Shoe leather. Mm. Shoe leather. Boot straps. Oh, yeah. I'm smelling yeah. it. <laughs> That's what it smells Sold like. Old saddles. This smells like. But, yeah. Um, so, then they, they smoke that peat, so it's got a... Uh, um, 
There's a bit of a grassy smell. And it's a real high moisture thing, so right. when they when they burn it to dry out the barley and stuff, um, that smoke just billows out. And this is still in this, but not to the extent of it is like say ten or, or twelve yeah. or anything like that. Or, or it's like a more. real, it's like a high light smoke. Yeah, little bits of like oranges. You get it more from here than you do here, I think. It's like somewhere between sitting in between a fruit stand and a guy like a shoe polish stand. <laughs> it's yeah, like, it's like in between there. Yeah, no, I, I think a, a very young fruit when I when I smell it, mm-hmm. it's just a, in like a, like pear and mango and stuff uh, like yeah. that. But but something very young, not uh, not spoilt and old and bright, just just nuanced. So. Hmm. See. This is not my favorite Lafroy, and I still love it. It's yeah. still just just incredible. So this one is uh, quite a bit brighter on the front end. Yeah, it's um, I don't know. It's got more of a more alcohol, I think, mm-hmm. in the taste than what we keep compared. We we keep compared, by the way, to Lafroy Ten is the one that was kind of our go to. So which is a heavier peated. Um, it, it's a very dominant smoke flavor yeah. in Lafroy 10 versus <clears throat> something like this. This tends to be a little smoother. This is still going to knock the socks off of, of probably most of the scotches you've had yeah. in terms of smoke level. This would uh, be a great entry level if you're looking for yeah. something to try to a sample, Pete. This might be a great way to get into it. Mm-hmm. So, it's don't Isla, hate it. It's an Islay scotch, so they're typically more smoky in general, right? Right, and Islay, I guess, is a part of the island down there, mm-hmm. so that's I'm not terribly well versed, but there's there's lowland scotch, there's highland scotch, there's uh, Islay's Spay, Spayside. Spayside. Uh, I feel like there's a fifth one I can't think of. Yeah, there is, and I can't think of it either. There's another one. <laughs> At the end of it all comes back to that smoke and the peat, mm-hmm. and I'm not sure how to describe peat if you haven't had it. Uh, when I say it tastes like peat, I don't know where to go with that other than. I guess if you've got some grass or moss pretty wet, um, like an old alfalfa bale or something uh-huh. like that, pretty wet, <laughs> and then it caught fire on the edges and you just kept getting smoke, just smoke, 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 and no fire, you'd start to kind of put peat in the flavor. This has such a clean finish. Um, barbecue grill. If yeah. you're downwind from a barbecue grill, that's going to get you in the mind of peat, where you just get the you get the smoke off the meat, mm-hmm. not the smoke off the flame. Yeah. So, uh, compared to the Lafroig Ten, it's a it's a much cleaner finish. It dissipates. Yeah, and maybe one day quick. I'd like to get the ten in here side by side. Yeah. Uh, we already killed the bottle of ten. Now, so this runs what about fifty bucks a bottle, roughly? Um, <clears throat> yeah, forty or fifty bucks. This is one of those things that. Um, I would put this in the category of like an occasional drink. This is something you put on the shelf, you have for special occasions. Um, you don't savor it, like it's not something I, I would just like, ha 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 never yeah. touch, but it's something that like you maybe don't break out every day at five o'clock, right? Maybe. I mean, it just depends on who you are. Yeah, that's my, are. that's my. So <laughs> what is the difference between this and 10 before we... Oh, before we wrap up, yeah. Yep. Um, okay, so Lefroy Select, um, is my understanding that changes from time to time, but uh, it's a mix of um, all of Lafroig's different whiskeys, or some of Lafroig's different whiskeys. So it has the quarter cask uh, Lafroig, it has the 10 year Lafroig, the PX cask, which I've never heard uh, of or had, um, and maybe another one. And they blend those together. So they're all, this is a single malt scotch, it's all the same grain. Um, it's all the same grain from Lefroig, um, <clears throat> but it's uh, blended together out of different casks to make this specific run. But this is not a blended scotch. It is not a blended scotch. This is a single malt scotch. Yes. Which means? It is it's one test. single grain from a single distillery. Right. Yeah. So if you get a single malt, and there is a difference between blended and single malt. Some people like one over the other. We both happen to agree on this one that we like single malts. And I'm sorry to break in. Yeah. But there's it. a huge difference between blended scotch, which is a scotch that's mostly scotch and could even be cut with like some lesser neutral grains, spirits. like neutral spirits, like vodka and vodka. stuff, 
and a difference between blended scotch and a blended single malt. Right. Blended single malt is a bunch of these guys put together, which is still not bad. Don't necessarily all have to be from the same distillery, though. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So, so this doesn't really fall into those categories. This is a mix, a, a blend of um, all of the Froig stuff, which is all still single malts considered from the same distillery. So it doesn't really fall into a blended category, even though it's blended within their own house. Yeah. So it's still considered a single malt whiskey. I'm so glad we did our first scotch. There's this is like yeah, we have more to do. Um, <laughs> scotch is a beautiful. Couple of them we're very, very tickled to get to, and yep. we can't wait to get on down the line, which is why it's important to uh, donate to Patreon. Yeah, because we would like to replace this bottle with something else. Speaking of which, we put up on Facebook that we're going to replace this spot right back over here. Um, I think we got to look at that tonight and decide which one we're going to do, but so hopefully by the time we do our next recording, you'll see a new bottle back there, which we will shortly do. And thank you for those of you that have taken the time to respond to those requests uh, for your suggestions. Absolutely. Well, until next time. Whether it be the scotch you're drinking. The food you're eating. Clothes you're wearing. The people you're meeting. Grab a buddy. Try something new.